And hello again, YouTube. Oh, yes, I'm oversharing today because, uh, yeah, because you know, that's what I do when I'm not, um, not spending my time with other people and, um, not spending a lot of time with other people lately. Actually, you know, I really shouldn't say that. Um, I was, I've started this story so many times about the, the party I went to um, Saturday night, and there were a lot of other people I spent my time with there. And, uh, and I did have one exciting, fun week with a crazy chick named Crystal last week, so there's that. But, uh, yeah, I'm back on my grind right now. So, uh, 4.35 p.m., Monday, April 25th. 2022, um, after pondering my different transit options to get to work, I have decided to opt for this 10 minute walk again, <laughs> third time today, uh, hey, at least this time it doesn't look, oops, I'm blocking my lens with my finger again. Oh, man. I, I noticed one of the videos I uploaded today from last uh, Saturday, for Saturday morning. <laughs> there was a good solid minute plus of... A good solid minute plus of, of this. <laughs> so... Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Uh, you know, I used to bitch all the time about how much, you know, I started doing this vlog, how much it bothered me that there's not a uh, an option in well at the time in, in the iphone uh camera app but it, you know at this point i should not in any camera app i've ever seen none of the ones i've used for android either um uh not an option where you can carry a phone in in what what most people would call its normal orientation you know where you hold it hold it easily uh vertically that allows it to shoot um, horizontal video while being held like that. Um, in fact, the closest I've come to that was the Samsung that uh, Crazy Crystal stole from me. That uh, oh, Crazy Crystal with the amazing booty. Yeah, it's going to be affecting my mind for a while. Um, her body was pretty banging from the neck down, just saying. Uh, anyway. Um, yeah, um, sorry, sorry, thinking about Crystal Naked and lost my mind right there. Um, so, uh, yeah, that Samsung that she stole from me, it, it did have, it did have the option of doing video in one resolution, uh, 1080 by 1080, um, square, if I held the phone vertically. And that's, uh, yeah, that's the closest I've found to a to a, something that's not vertical video when you hold a phone like that, which is the most convenient way to hold a phone. Um, really makes me wish I, I, I had the had the skill to uh, skill set to make that app. It probably wouldn't be that difficult if I was a little more knowledgeable. Maybe that's something I should look into doing. You know, worthwhile diversion. If I'd have a lot of time to commit to it, but but yeah, it gets frustrating carrying phone and horizontal like this, which is kind of awkward, and and periodically my finger ends up covering the damn lens. So as I was saying, this is my third time doing this walk um, down the uh, old Crosscut Canal Park. Um, Yeah, I still haven't decided which I prefer, walking down the, uh, walking down the multi-use, you know, bike path down there to my left, or, or kind of this pathway of sorts that I've discovered here along the, uh, western edge of it, but, um, at this point I'm, I'm actually liking this pathway a little bit better because it has a little bit more shade, um, so anyway, as I was saying, I was considering my different uh, bus options, and generally my favorite route to the, uh, to, to the Amazon warehouse has been to uh, catch the 44 South 
Um, try to catch that, you know, before, try to get there 4.30, 4.45, catch the 44 South, and then take the light rail um, from 44th Street Station to downtown. Um, yeah, all the homeless people that were camping out at that, uh, at that tree seem to have moved along. Um, anyway, catch the, uh, yeah, catch the, the light rail. It's another funny little spot where I've seen squatters hanging out. Eh, nothing there, but they're trash right now. Uh, anyway, take the, uh, yeah, take the light rail from 44th Street Station to, uh, downtown Phoenix. And then depending on how, what, what time it is when I get downtown, uh, get off and either... Uh, get off at the Central Station and, and walk over to where I catch the Rapid, uh, the I-10 West Rapid. Um, or walk over to Taco Bell Cantina. Or walk over to the Fry's grocery store downtown. Um, get food at one of those two places. And then, uh, and then from there, walk over to the uh, building formerly known as the Chase Tower to catch the I-10 West Rapid on over to work. Um, it adds two dollars and twenty-five cents of uh, bus fare in addition to what I, what I, what I. It's it's a little extra to ride that bus with the bus pass that I use, and generally I've considered that to be worth it. But uh, last Monday, so a week ago today, um, that train was completely dysfunctional. And I left earlier than that, but had I, um, yeah, I think I left Crystal's place before 4 p.m. So I left earlier, but had, had I done my usual of leaving from my house at 4.30, um, and been on a later, on a later, uh, westbound train from 44th Street to, um, downtown, and had it had comparable delays to the one that I rode, uh, I would have missed the rapid bus. So, um, taking all of that into consideration and the fact that those delays are still a present thing on the light rail, uh, I think my best bet is just to save the $2.50 and tough it out riding the, uh, tough it out riding the, um, the 17th all the way from 48th Street to uh, 79th Avenue. It looks like we got the same squatters in the same place, although I don't see the dog. You know, and it wasn't that long ago I was shooting video walking to this bus stop and there were Phoenix cops rolling everybody out of this little piece of the park and uh, them, them acting, the homeless people acting like they had a caravan going on with like three shopping carts in front of each other. Uh, and yeah, definitely somebody living out of that RV. 20 inch bicycle, never a good sign. Um, surprised 7 Eleven's putting up with that. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, so. Uh, yeah, when I saw the police doing that, I was honestly pretty disappointed that they weren't enforcing the uh, shopping cart law. But Phoenix PD has gotten, much like uh, most other cities with liberal mayors, Phoenix TV PD has gotten really soft on crime. So they not only didn't enforce the shopping cart law, they let those people leave with their stolen shopping carts. So. And apparently they're not bothering to uh, continue to keep that area clear because there's been homeless people squatting there all day today. All right, so uh, when I left, I, I uh, yeah, it looked like it would be perfect timing for me to come here and catch that bus, and, and sure as shit it is, there it is. So um, on that note, wrap this up. Uh, thanks for coming with on the walk. I swear I'm going to get around to telling the rest of the story about what happened with... Uh, what happened with the, the party and me and Chris and the millionaire with the urinal, uh, but uh, now is not the time.